Bradley Beal demanded a trade. Not really demand, more, more so of him and his agent working with the organization to get the best case scenario um, trade destination for him. Um, plenty of teams out there who wants to compete, who needs him um, competing next year for, for a playoff spot, whether it's a playoff spot or a championship, whatever the case may be. There are a handful of teams that could use him. The Lakers could use him. The Sixers could use him. Hell, the Celtics could use him. So there are a couple of teams that I, I, I foresee that happening. I don't think, I don't think, unless the Dark Horse, Dark Horse, in my opinion, could be the Kings or the Warriors. Honestly, I mean, it's possible. I mean, with an NBA, you never know. There are a lot of things, trade aspect that people try to work on. And, and, and there are a few things that, you know, you never know. Yeah, and Suns might come into play. And there, and I know Bradley Beal is hungry for his first championship. He wants a ring. He's a competitor. He wants to compete. He wants to you know, be traded to a destination that's going to help him lead him to that winning category. And, and playing for the Rizzers necessarily doesn't mean that you're going to be winning any games anytime soon. So I think he you know, heard that, understood that, and finally absorbed all the stuff that people have been saying. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's been a faithful to the D.C. Nation, so we'll see what happens. The Mets. The Mets are faulting. What the fuck? This is, this is why I keep saying this. We're 10 and a half games behind the Atlanta Braves right now. We can't compete with the roster that we have. And I keep saying this. Why isn't Ronnie Mauricio called up yet? Like, we have so many players that need to get sent down. I'm not kidding you. We're at a point where it's helped. Just right now, I'm watching the game right now. It's a Subway series. We literally, we're coming back. Brandon Nimmo's undisciplined. <sighs> I'm going to kill him. His plate, he doesn't pay attention when he's running. His base running is not there. And he's, that's his Achilles heels. Like, everybody knows this. We all know Brandon Nimmo. Great player, athletic. You know, subpar defense. But when he's base running, he doesn't pay attention. He doesn't keep his head up. And again, this co that cost us another possible lead. And he got thrown out, and then boom, the game's tied right now. But still, we had we had runners on third, and then and then I believe uh, Nimmo was on second. So we had a chance to score again. But no, Brandon Nimmo doesn't slam on the brakes. Expect the Vientos to score. And Vientos like, no, nah, I'm gonna listen to my third base coach and stop. And Nimmo's like. <laughs> Come on, man. Show Walter got to do. He has to do something. There's got to. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. It's depressing. We were not this bad in early the season last year. And our and our bullpen is terrible. Drew Smith getting suspended for ten games for a foreign substance policy. Come on, you're. Come on, you know better than that, man. You know better than that. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Atavino pitched today. His ERA is like a 4.29. I mean, he's pitching decent right now, but god damn, our bullpen is struggling. Raleigh, rally, terror. Awful, in my opinion. I mean, he's all right, but I, like, I'm sorry, some negative Nancy right now, but I can't stand some of the shit that we're going to. And Scherzer is getting tagged left and right. Max Scherzer is not who he is. Like, we, I hope. I hope we get a trade scenario going. Justin Verlander is out pitching Max Scherzer this year. And he's old as shit. And we need some help. We need some help. I'm not a pro baseball professional athlete connoisseur. But as a fan, you can tell we need some help. There's no way in hell we'd be able to survive this year. And I'm going to tell you right now, the road and path that we're heading... It's either we're going to make the playoffs by literally by a hairline or we'll be sitting on the couch watching postseason baseball. And it breaks my heart because I know we have the roster. We have the roster to handle these type of games. You know, nothing should be hindering us. We have competitive players. We have players that are, that are you know, well-rounded and balance each other out. We, we might not have a true power hitter, in my opinion, except for Pete Alonzo, who's injured right now. Polar Bear Pete. Besides that, Lindor, 
He's showing his flashes once in a while. But Polar Bear Pete, Pete Alonzo, we miss you. He needs to come back. There's got something's got to give. And his batting average isn't that great either. So I, I believe nobody in our team currently right now is hitting above 300. And I hope either Buckshaw Walter gets fired or something's got to give. Mets fans, stand up. Where are you at, Mets fans? Stand up. Y'all got to stand up. We got to come together. Got to tell the organization, the owner, the GM, yo, some things have to change. But I'm going to tell you right now, if Ronnie Mauricio does not get called up anytime soon, I will kill somebody. No, actually, no, I won't kill somebody. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. But seriously, please, something's going to give. And I hope the season can be turned around. Let's, let's, let's have a hell of a fucking July coming up. Our June's terrible. So I'm hoping that praying that we're going to have a hell of a July, hell of August. Once before October gets around, we're gonna get a shit together. We're gonna prove to the Phillies and the Braves. Because honestly, I swear to God, if we if we if, if we let the Phillies take over the second spot, oh my God, oh they're about to actually. But no, like our there's no reason why we can't compete with the Braves. And I'm not gonna lie, the Braves have a great team, and they're one of the best in the league right now. So it's hard to compete, and we're, our roster is not complete yet. I just hope that we make roster running moves for the sake of this franchise moving forward. Or else, fire Buck Showalter and fire fucking the GM. I don't even give a fuck what his name is at this point. I'm heated. Tired of these losing. We're literally 10 and a half games behind the first place. And our pitching has been awful. And our offense has been awful. So I pray and pray again. Changes will come. Do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me your opinions. Like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I will greatly appreciate your support. I hope everyone has a great night. Have a great week. And if I don't see you, have a fantastic weekend. See you guys.